Stealing. Thou shall not steal. Exodus 20:15. Have you ever stolen anything? Even as a child, it is common for children and young people to take things that do not belong to them. Do you steal? Subtle forms of this sin are secretively committed by adults on a daily basis. Whether it be hourly workers stealing a little time on the clock in the workplace, or the average American stealing money from the government through tax fraud. The honest truth is that if more opportunities were available to exploit, then men would steal and keep stealing, as long as they feel that they can get away with it. Nevertheless, God says, Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor thieves, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9-10 we know that stealing is punished severely by national governments. For the lords of earth and the laws of nations are crafted to protect properties and possessions of sinners. Nevertheless, a day of reckoning is coming with the Lord of the lords. Sooner rather than later, the laws of the kingdom of heaven will be impartially enforced upon sinners. Heaven will invade earth to take back what belongs to God. For creation exists to serve and submit to the Creator. The Maker is the owner. Therefore, every moment you live a life of rebellion to the Bible, you are stealing your life from God. In other words, you owe your life to God. Let all men everywhere hear the good news. The Kingdom is coming. God's will in Christ is going to be done spiritually, physically, and literally in real time. Get ready or else it will be said to you on that fearful, fateful day. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Luke 19, 27.